Good evening, everybody. Let's just make sure the subtitles are off before they start trying to decipher my words. <laughs> I am a... Uh, I'm going to turn this fan off. Bear with me. Because the noise just drives me mad. Ooh. Hi, Sandy, Anna, Anne. I think you're going to like this card tonight. Hi Mel, Deborah. I've literally just finished prepping it about half an hour ago. I've had a quick sandwich and here we are. On a Tuesday evening, no less. What a treat. <laughs> right, let's get this little logo off. And you can see where we're going. So what I'm going to say before we start is I love Tuesdays when Phil's on as I'm busy Mondays. Oh, well, that's a treat for you then, Gwen. So good evening to everybody who's joined on YouTube so far. And everybody's here on... Now, I know if Saz is watching, Saz is going to want the instructions for this card. And I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'm going to do a video. <laughs> Hi, Kerry, David, Brenda, Christine. Angela, everybody's dropping in now. That's marvellous. Hi, Priscilla. Love your name. Hi, Carol. Les, everybody's starting to arrive now. So I think you're going to like this card tonight. Something a little bit different. And I hope you're all sitting down because it's A6. I'm doing an A6 card, everybody. Now, what's that all about? I know, I know. That's why I said I hope you're sitting down. <laughs> I've got the wrong pearls there, bear with me. I want some, what colour pearls do I want? I want these ones. No, I don't. Bear with me, I've got to get the right ones. Oh, they would be at the bottom, wouldn't they? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. They're on the bottom tub, of course they are. Right, where are you? Smooth car caramel. There you are, caramel shimmer. That's what I want. Caramel shimmer. Look at these beauties. Look at these gorgeous pearls. And they're what I want for tonight because they go really rather lovely with my copper cardstock. <laughs> David <laughs> yep an A6 card that's why I said I hope you're sitting down <laughs> hiya Jean Jean I'm going to message you later just to see how things are uh, obviously we were away for the weekend it was my mum's 70th birthday so we were all away for the weekend Having a lovely time in York, and we did have a marvellous time with my mum. And now it's back to normal. Hi, Marie. <laughs> Hi, Caroli. Right, so now it's going to be quite flat, Liz. I know, I just been there. Uh... So this card, this is a really, really simple card to do. Um, it's going to be flat. So it's gonna you're gonna be able to pop it in an envelope, which is unheard of, and you're also gonna be able to put it in an A6 envelope, which is also unheard of, uh, and I think you're gonna like it. Something a little bit different. We did. It was an amazing weekend, busy, but it was it was amazing. Uh, so let's get cracking. I'm gonna have a oh, my coffee stuck to my heater. And we're going to get started. So all the only stamps I'm using tonight is background stamps, apart from the sentiment. Because this card is all about the backgrounds. 
and there when I was trying to choose stamps, so this is a little tip for you. So if you want to have a go at this card, um, I promise you I will find time to do a video with a proper instruction for this. Um, it won't be this week because I've got too much on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Eugene, Jean, Tondi. Uh, now that would be telling David. <laughs> hi Lorraine, hi Pamela. Hi Jenny, oh thank you Jenny. I did make her a special card and it was absolutely beautiful even if I said, oh hi Pops, hi Lona. Yes, I did make her a special card from start to finish and it was beautiful even if I say so myself. Do you know what Sue, when I was prepping this, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you all. When, oh I'm bleeding. When I was prepping this, I tried to do it as an A5 um, but it won't work easily as an A5. So it's, it's best. This is actually better as an A6 card. So, so after I've had my tea, Jean, about half nine, I'll message you. Um, so, so yeah, so top tips for this card. I will do a video with the proper instructions for it probably one day next week, and I'll pop it on YouTube and I'll let you all know about it as soon as I've done it. Um, it is really, really easy. And the first thing you're going to think is that you can make this from an A3 piece. Now, you probably could make it from an A3 piece of card. Um, but it would be a lot more complicated than the way I've done it. So, let's get all this rough out of the way. All this out of the way. Because we don't need this just yet. So, pop this to one side. I'm going to tell you that I'm using our warm copper luster card and this is all this all this is the layers for this card <laughs> they're just the layers for this card yeah so there's quite a bit of work to do but it's fabulous now I'm I'm using the uh, acorn versifying Claire this evening so Acorn is really, really overlooked as one of the gorgeous brown shades in the Versifying Clairs. Um, and I don't know uh, whether I've used this before in a live, but it's an absolutely beautiful shade. And if you like copper, this colour is lush with the copper cardstock. You can actually see, look, how nice that's going to work together. Oh, do you know, Helen, I would love the time to do them all for you. That's, that's what I was asking you about, Jean. Um, so, let me show you this card. Now, I've put mine all together. I've already put mine all together. And this card, if I show you this like a step, you can see how I've constructed this. It's really, really easy. So, it looks like one piece from that side, but it isn't. It's actually three pieces. But what makes it complicated, what makes it complicated, oh Jean, I'm slipping. I'm absolutely slipping because Jean's already got these two colour ink pads. Let me just check, tell me what you haven't got Jean, because then I'll change it to that colour. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, what have I missed? Congratulations, Michelle. Uh, hi Cheryl, are you back Cheryl? Did you have a fab time? Yeah, so this, this is a four panel card, but we are decorating seven of them, okay? So can you see how this steps? If I fold this, this is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated. Hi, Linda. So you fold it into the first section, and this is a two centimeter gap and a two centimeter gap. This is why it would be tricky. <laughs> this is why it would be che uh, cheeky. This is why it would be tricky on an A3 piece of card in one strip. So it's a two centimeter gap, left top and side. And then when you fold the front one, it's another two centimeter gap, two centimeter gap. I've bent this so much, I've cracked all the cardstock. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Let me just get rid of these fluffy bits because that will annoy me. That's because I've bent it so many times. I've started to rip, <laughs> rip the card. 
That one's all right. Let's have a look at this one. And we are good to go. I don't like the little fluffy bits. So we've actually got a card that's staggered like this. Oh, everybody's got these two ink pads. I should have changed the colours quickly. You would never have known. <laughs> it's because I, I know we've used the, the Monarch. Uh, I'm not using Monarch tonight, but when I get to the stamping, I'm going to show you these two colours together because the Acorn and the Monarch are a really nice mix together. So this is, this is our little constructed card. And it's going to be fabulous once we've done it. Yeah. I, I, it's actually dead easy, Jean. Hi, Rose. Pops, you don't have any ink pads. Well, Pops, if you're going to start on the ink pad route, I would, always, I would highly recommend the Versafine Clairs because they stamp to perfection. And you can put your embossing powders and everything over the top. So this is what we're going to end up with. A flat-ish because we have got quite a few layers to put on, but a flattish card that will fit in an envelope, which I think is a little bit of a treat from me because I don't normally do that. Right, come on then, Pam. <laughs> Emma, <laughs> Helen. <laughs> uh, yes, you can on the fluffy bits. <laughs> it's easy. Oh, DB, I love that. Yeah, I love the copper as well, Saz. I'm just on YouTube now, everybody. Carol hasn't got the ink pads. Whoop, whoop. Helen hasn't. Yeah, marvellous. Uh, right, so, like I say, it's not as complicated as it looks. It did take me... Let me show you, everybody, because I'll be honest with you. That was my first attempt. That was my first attempt. And I like that's going in the bin because you can see it's the same width and I wanted it to stagger into the corner. So that went in the bin. This was my second attempt. That was my second attempt and it was too small on the front. So that went in the bin. Come on then, Rob. Get caught up. <laughs> Oh, you need to collect the Versafine Clairs that I, I personally prefer these, especially for sentiments and things, because you get all the detail. So this is the third and final attempt. So, top tips. When this card is closed like this, we're going to see all three of these layers. So when I was looking for background stamps to put on these, I know that I wanted, on the back panel, I want a nice open one. So I'll probably use the linen, or I might use the flourish, I can't remember. Cut the stay to that. Hi, Janet. <laughs> and then on the middle one, I want a heavier pattern. And then on the front one, I want a more open pattern again. So that just balances the card. It just balances the card out. Now, I am going to use both of these. And I think I'm going to use the linen rather than the vine. I'm going to use the linen as my dark at the back. Open and darker at the front, I think. Oh, I might change my mind. I might change my mind. Oh, how do you choose... How do you choose lacy, lacy, darker? Mm. Vine, lacy, darker. Vine, darker, open. Bear with me while I faff. It's got to be right. It's got to be right. And I definitely want the linen in there. So I'm going to do it this way round. I'm going to do linen at the back, open in the middle, darker at the front. So we've got two lacy ones. 
Now, I know, decisions, decisions, vines, Deirdre says, faff away. <laughs> hi, Christina, hi, Elaine. Vine, yeah, wine might be good. <laughs> vine, I could do vine. I could do vine. Well, you've got to remember as well is the largest layer it's got to fit the largest layer and that one doesn't look so i'm definitely going to go with the um i'm going to go back to my original plan where is it which is the linen one in the background because i don't i don't want three swirly ones well, why don't we do it different why don't we have why don't we have that at the back that in the middle and the vines on the front that'll be nice won't it sorted sorted now i need to just tell you that these two these two lacy stamps i do you know what elaine i absolutely get that i i other lorraine yeah linen at the back i agree um these two these two stamps of Trudy's, uh, I honestly don't know whether we've got any. So apologies if we haven't. Oh, Karen's just popped a link on. Have we got some, Mel? <laughs> Everybody's wanting wine. Have we got some of these? I don't feel so bad now because I didn't think we had. Yep, Karen's popped a link on. So let's get started because there's a lot to stamp. We are going to do the front panels and we are going to do these three panels as well. And this is all about stamping. And I don't know what I've cut my finger on, but I have cut my finger. It was probably the scissors. So we'll start with the back one. I'm going to move these to one side. I'm going to move these layers to one side and we're going to start with the back one now you all know uh you all know my tip because i'm going to stamp this in fact i might do it that way no i won't i'll do it the normal normal way <coughs> my throat's dry get a drink phil is anybody coming to the Wirral this weekend no, Helen, no, no. Trudy Trudy gave in a while gave up a while ago. Priorities are hell. Fifty percent off them. Wow. <laughs> I absolutely do, Helen. I've just flicked back to YouTube. That they, they these are half price. Wow. I've definitely slipped up then. Uh, right, so my tip for stamping on the background if your card is bigger than the stamp and you want to do it on your stamping platform is a little bit of glue on the bike just rub it off so that it's not too wet i'm trying to make sure i don't get blood on this card i've got no plasters in my craft room so that should stay in place now And with the linen, this is a new one. Where's my dirty one? This is a brand new stamp. Because I know that this one doesn't, doesn't have to be lined up, I'm going to do it horizontally. If I do it that way, it's just slightly too small. So we're going to go that way. And I am using the acorn. And wait till you see this gorgeous shade of brown. And I am going to be using acorn more. I will show you together with the Monarch ones. I know, Janet, A6 postable. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so let's just get this gorgeous ready brown stamped. And for the benefit of Pops, who maybe hasn't ventured into ink pads yet, this is why the Versafine Clairs are so good. You will see all this gorgeous detail in a minute. 
I've got glue on my finger. Oh, look at that colour. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Okay, now I need to clean the stamp and move it. I could have just done this on a block because it doesn't need to be lined up. I will try and line it up a little bit. Squeak, that was my knee. <laughs> squeaky, squeak, squeaky platform, squeaky chair, well, creaky chair. Hi Trish, it's my fault for confusing you and not doing it on a Monday. And then we'll move that stamp down. I won't be able to line it up, but it doesn't matter too much with the linen as long as I get as long as I get get it on the bottom so there's only a slight overlap. It's a little bit off my platform, so let's see if I get away with it. There's a lot of stamping tonight. But the result is 100% worth it. So let's see whether I overlap too much. Oh no, I'll get away with that. Look at that. Bloody lovely. Bloody lovely. And then all we've got is a bit of kitcheron. Look at that. So that is one of the heavier patterns and it's not actually that heavy. So this is gonna work an absolute treat. Just remember when you have a go at this card, um, try and mix the heavier patterns. Try and mix the background stamps. Don't use the same, same one. This is why it's such a good card for getting all your fancy background stamps out. Put that back where it belongs. That was a new stamp, so I don't know what I've done with my other one. I don't usually have two working stamps. Uh, where's the packet? Here it is. Of course, it's not sticking to it because it's still wet. In. There we go. I like to put them away, then we know where they are for next time. So that is the back panel. Now for the for the back of the card, this is going on the back of the card, and I'm not um, I'm not stamping a texture on that. And then we need to move to the four panels for the inside. So just to explain to you what I mean by four panels. So as we open this card, as we open this card, this is going to be on there. And then I've got this one and this one and this one and this one. And I want them all the same just because I like coordination. So I think we'll go with the vine for the middle. So we're going with the vine for the middle one. Uh, I might just do this on my block. Bear with me, let me get an acrylic block. It saves messing about with bits of glue. It saves messing. You can do this on your platform if you're not, uh, if you're not confident at stamping. That's far too big, Phil. Let's try with this one. So we're doing the vine in the middle because the vine is a more open pattern. And let me just give you a tip. That's not sticking on properly. And it's because it's covered in glitter. Imagine that. Imagine one of my stamps being covered in glitter. So if any of your rubber stamps stop sticking onto your, onto your block, it, they just need cleaning at the back. Let's just make sure that's better, look. That's not going anywhere. So now we're going to stamp the vine 
and we're going to stamp the vine four times so that it matches at the front and at the back. Oops, don't fall. So let's see if I can get away with this. I love this stamp. I loved it when I designed it and I still love it now. So we've got a heavy pattern, a more open pattern, so we'll see more of the white. And I'm not, um, let me just stand up to do this. I'm not worried about this um, being perfect either, but it will be. <laughs> I'm not worried about it being perfect, but it will be. So we're, balance, we're balance, balancing the colour. Oh, look at that. How beautiful is that stamp? How gorgeous is that stamp? And I've just seen I've got a bit of glitter on one of the... Yes, I can see it. Come here, a bit of glitter. Gotcha. That's the only problem with detailed stamps. If you get a bit of glitter on them, look how this looks now, look, everybody. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I love it when the plank comes together. So we'll repeat that four times. If you recreate this, you don't have to do the front and the back, but if we're doing a job, do it all. Why don't I use Acorn more often? I bet you I do from now on. It's a lovely light autumn brown because it's got the red tones to it. It's a good job I've got my jammers on while I'm stood up stamping. Ah, oh, and there's some more bloody glitter coming in. Look at this, look. Just tiny fleck of glitter. That's it, gotcha. So that's two. I can't see it when I've covered it with ink, but there are little flakes of glitter stuck on the stamp. <laughs> now I've got about four of these stamps and for some reason, the only one I can find is this one. <laughs> And looking at this stamp, it looks like I've used the luster powders to stamp with it because it's got bits of red stuck in it. <laughs> at least you know I use them. <laughs> have I missed something? Let me just have a look. <laughs> Would love to see them in embossing powders, but I haven't got many colours, Karen. Yeah. Remember, you can start, you can, um, oh, that's perfect. You can start, you can uh, put your embossing powders over the top of the Versafine Claire's as well. So, for example, if you, if you try to do this and you've got the acorn, uh, the great oak embossing powder would be nice with this. Because it's a lovely brown tone. So, this is the last one for this. Just making sure I cover the whole thing. <laughs> you are funny. I miss doing the lives. <laughs> you lot, you lot break my week up. And that's the fourth one of that. <laughs> so let's just clean that. left a lovely colour on my stamp, which I quite like. You can tell this is one that I've used a lot. And now we'll move on to the, wait till you see the next one. Wait till you see this next one, because this is lush. Now I have got to try and get this one sort of straight. And Karen said this is a, why am I using new stamps tonight? I've already got these. Oh well. 
that's one of the advantages of having your own stuff. It doesn't matter if you've got more than one. <laughs> so this one I do need to try and get straight or straight-ish. And then when I put the three, the three stamps together, you will see why. Now this one I need two of, but I am going to stamp them separately. For those of you that are watching for the first time, uh, you'll notice I stamp horizontally. So if I'm not using my stamping platform, uh, I might actually do this on the platform. But if I'm not using the platform, I find it easier to stamp horizontally. I don't know why, I just do. So just remember if you're doing this trick that I'm doing where you put glue on, just remember to flatten it down a bit so you've not got loads of excess glue. Doesn't matter whether it's vertical or horizontal on the platform because it's not going to move. And now I can choose, I can choose where I go with this now. This stamp is beautiful. I'm just trying to get this lined up nicely. There were only a handful of flowers going on this card tonight as well. I'm just trying to get that. Oh, that's so pretty. I think that's about right. Maybe go up a touch more. I know I'm faffing, but it needs to be, it needs to be right. Let me just flick back to Facebook. Because she can, yeah, absolutely. Very interesting demo. I said, do you know what, Wendy? It's not a normal brown. It's a gorgeous red tone brown. And I think that's probably why you like it. Oh, look at this. Before I've even stamped it, you know, it's going to be pretty. And this is for the smaller panels at the front. Just make sure I've not missed any. This is going to be beautiful. I can already tell just looking at it. That is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. Just remember your versifying Claire's do stay wet a little bit longer than normal. I'm not going to worry about that because it's getting stuck on. Look at that. How beautiful is that stamp? And it's worked out perfect. Happy bunny, happy bunny. So just straighten the kitchen roll. I've got to clean the stamp and repeat just one more time. And you do have to clean your stamp in between because we're going to line it up again. What's the name of the geometric one? Uh, which one, Jean? There are two. Let me just find the other one. There are two that are geometric and these do line up. So these two stamps that we're looking at here, they do, they do line up so you can repeat them. And Karen's told me that the half price, so you've got these, these are in, she's popped a link on somewhere. So you've got Fancy Floral, which is the one I've just used. And then you've got Delicate Floral, which is this one. It would be gorgeous with embossing powder, absolutely. I'm not tonight because I wanted to make us, well, a relatively simple card. So if I'm done earlier, it's a bonus because I haven't stopped all day and I'm cream crackered so same procedure pop it on your block with a bit of glue underneath oh I've got a bit of brown ink on there but it'll be fine la, la, la. pretend you can't see that pretend you can't see it fancy floral and then we're going to repeat that let's see if I can do it without making too much mess. So how far up was the design? So I'm just trying to make it sort of match. It's 
come on film that doesn't look straight to me but is that the card that's not straight or is it <laughs> is it or is it me <laughs> <laughs> oh that made me laugh right this one might be a little bit off because I was putting myself off <laughs> yeah like a russet brown Catherine yeah absolutely uh, which side for the ink this side yeah that's a really good they should have called it russet because it is more like a russet brown than a than a, an acorn to be fair just to give you a heads up everybody as well there's a few new things coming soon and I will tell you that the next set of chalky acrylic paints are being made as we speak so they won't be long either I love this stamp So I'm just taking the kitchen roll off. So we've got two of that and I'm just going to put them together in a second and show you how they look. I'm changing that kitchen roll because it's no good to me anymore. I'm still bleeding. Nice bit of clean kitchen roll. Uh, for those of you waiting for stamping platforms coming in stock, they are due any day now. How soon, Helen's asking me. I have got a naughty laugh, Rose, I'm sorry, but you know me well enough, Rose. <laughs> uh, how soon? Um, next couple of weeks. There will be something new, hopefully, next week. So when we have our live on Monday night... I will be able to show you something new on Monday night. And then the paints, and Karen and I have named all the paints today and we had such a good time doing it. Um, wait till you see the colours. Oh, and I know I say it every single time I do some, but these colours are stunning. And they're going to complete the set, I think. I think these will be the last... These will be the last of the chalky paints because I think we've exhausted most colours. I might try and do a really bright set, um, like a limited edition, really bright set. Uh, but I will keep you, I will keep little bleed. <laughs> yeah, no, no sneaky peeks till next week. <laughs> but one of the new things I am going to let you order next week. How about that? So you're going to be able to order it before it's even been on TV. Look how good I am. Kitchen roll and sellotape for a makeshift plaster. What a cracking idea, Denise. Cracking idea. What have I just missed? Uh, Denise, try and get that roll. Got very disheartened. Let me see where, what have I missed. What colour Versafine is that one, please? Trish is asking me. Uh, it's Acorn. Oh, I've seen Saz's answer. You look Acorn. It is a beautiful stamp. Thank you, Steve. Trish Acorn. Uh, what have I missed? Try heating from below if you're burning your powders or go further away. Yeah, somebody's been watching me. I wonder if it'd be worth me doing a quick video for you on heat embossing again. I'm sure I've done one. Uh, now, before we move on, we're just gonna. I'm just going to show you on a scrap. Uh, I'm just going to show you on a scrap these two colours together because I want you to see these two colours together. And I'll just use the vine stamp just because it's here. Is it dry? Sort of. So we'll just use the vine stamp. Now I'm gonna go purple first. So I'm going on with the Monarch. These are really autumn colours. A Monarch is a beautiful, beautiful deep shade of purple. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I'm not particularly a fan of purple and lilac. They have to be really nice tones for me to like them. And I love the Monarch. So we're going we're gonna to do a bit of a two-tone thing here. 
little bit of a two-tone thing going on and I think that's probably enough. Are you ready? This is why I couldn't decide which colours to go for. Stand up. Because you can do this card in any colours you like. But I wanted to do the acorn tonight. This is a really rich palette. And I'm only pressing so hard because, oh, look at that. That is class in a glass. Look at these two colours together. So you've got that deep plum, almost plum colour from the Monarch. And you've got the gorgeous, ready, russet brown from the Acorn. I absolutely love that. I love that. Anyway, I just wanted to show you. I think this is getting beyond repair. <laughs> My fingers will be filthy in a minute and then I'll complain. Right, so done with the stamping block, done with the background stamps. And now we're going to start layering. Crikey, it's nearly quarter to eight already. Let me get a drink. I'll tell you something else, um, Denise. So I'm just talking to Denise on YouTube. If you're if you're struggling with heat embossing, make sure. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Alison. So Alison's just said, does it contaminate? Uh, it'll be fine, look. It'll be fine. So once you've, is that scrap? So once you've used it a couple of times, look, it's just straight back to normal. Straight back to normal. That's a really good way to show you that colour. For those of you that are waiting for the new Versafine colours, we have pre-ordered ours again. And hopefully we get them this time. And they are due in about the third week of May, I believe. I believe. So let me get all these pieces matted and laid. And I'm going to show you how they look together now. So we've got that, that and that. What a beautiful, beautiful combination. I'm going to bring that in and show you. So this is when I said to you at the beginning, try and make sure you've got a darker one, a more open one, and then a darker one again. So more, when I say darker, I just mean it covers more area from the stamp. Yeah. Um, you could obviously do this in reverse. So we could have had lighter lighter and darker in the middle uh, I was just going to say something to uh, Denise about embossing so if you're if you're still struggling with embossing Denise use your heat gun on this on the slower setting <coughs> or the lower heat setting you've got less chance of burning your card then so let's get these put together And look at this colour with the copper. This is beautiful. I wish you could see what this looks like in real life. Because that copper cardstock with that russet acorn brown is just, is just beautiful. So I've got one piece for the back and we're going to just get all this matting and layering done now. Make sure my fingers are clean. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to have a minute. I'm just going to have a minute and have a drink and read some of your questions just to give that ink a little bit longer to dry. I love the copper card art as well. I would never have thought to put these colours together. And there you go, Em. Teaching you something different. I am quite, I know I say it a lot, but I am quite good with the uh, colour. And you just, sometimes you have to just trust yourself and go for it. Copper card is lush. Oh, have I already done a heat embossing video, Helen? I can't remember. <laughs> well done, Liz. <laughs> just need to get the A cut. Yeah, it's true. And that's, and that's just saying she's already got Monarch but need to get the acorn and it's true because we look at the colors we look at the colors of these online um 
And if I just show you this look, it's, it, this looks a lot brighter than the actual colour is. And I know, I know from when we've done our watercolour pens and the alcohol pens, it's really difficult to get a digital, a digital perfect match when you've got a, a physical product. Uh, but that is nothing like it is on the pack. So it's very misleading. Anyway, let's have a quick look before I move on. Let's have a quick look before we carry on. Yeah, using different, Jeanette's just said, look, I wouldn't have thought to use different backgrounds together. And, and it's actually, as long as you balance it, and they're not all heavy patterns, or they're not all um, open, it's it's a good way. Yeah, Grace has just said the same look. I like the idea of the heavy, then the lighter, and then back to the heavier. It does look good. Oh, hell, thanks, Helen. So, Denise, um, hell, yeah, Helen's just said to me that there is a video on YouTube already where I've done the heat embossing. I can't remember doing it, but it's obviously, it'll be in there somewhere. Right, let's get these stuck together. Because I'll just be talking all night. I forgot, did I ask anybody if they're coming to the Wirral this weekend? Is anybody coming? Oh, Farban. Is anybody coming? I can't even remember what the show's called that I'm at this weekend. But we are, we are at the Stam show, whatever it's called, this weekend. I don't know what to wear. <laughs> so if any of you are coming, make sure you come and say hello. Uh, no, I was just going to say something else, but I'm not. I'll save that for next time. So I'm just layering these up. Uh, just another another top tip, just while I'm talking a lot. We always think that we should put brown tones with cream. Now, personally, I prefer brown colours on white cardstock as opposed to cream. I think it makes it pop a little bit more. Well, hopefully, Ellen, otherwise I might get... Yeah, can you imagine, Patricia, if I turned up in my jammers? <laughs> oh, um, what a shame. Oh, Anna's coming to... Oh, stamping together, that's it. Oh, well, make sure you come and say hello, Anna. I'm quite looking forward to it. It's the first show we've done for ages. Because, obviously, COVID and, and then all the ones that have happened subsequently, we've not been able to get to. So I'm quite looking forward to it. So we've now got our panels there, look, all on the... What, uh, the well, not the copper card. We'll do the same with these two. Yeah, it'd be nice to be out and about again. <laughs> Jean says, wear your leopard print onesie. You might get noticed. <laughs> I think they'll notice me anyway, Chuck. Or oh, they'll hear me. And I think Leon is there as well, so it's going to be absolute bedlam. If me and Leonie are near to each other on the stands, it's going to be bedlam. There won't be any work done. It'll just be me and Leonie messing all weekend. But I'm really looking forward to it. Right, so we've got our panels all together now drying. Now on the back panel, so on the panel for the back of the card, I'm going to stamp one of the verses from the new verses. And I just need to find them, so bear with me a sec. Uh, where would you be? Where would you be? What did I call them stamps? Ba -ba 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 -ba. What did I call them stamps? Verse library. 
No, it's not the first library. Is it this one? No. It's not stylistic. It's not them either. Oh, bugger. Sentiment edges. What's this one? Oh, here they are. Now, I'm ashamed to say I haven't got a sticker on this pot, which is most unlike me. I need to fix that when we're finished. So on the back, we're going to stamp one of the verses. So let's just find one that fits nicely. Now that's too wide, I think. I want a nice thin one. There you go. Now let's have special day. So we're going for special day. And this is when all my things start to come together. I mean, you know that this is, I always have this in mind. I always have previous releases in mind with new releases. So these stamps are obviously older. Yeah, it could be, David, if you don't put stamps on it, uh, flowers on it. So let's pop a verse on. Oh, it just fits. I might need to change that. No, it'll be fine. I'm just making sure it's straight. Something has to be. Yeah, it looks straight to me. So the verse is on. And let's have... I might just have the... And I just have that at the bottom. I'm trying to leave a bit of space for writing. Just in case somebody ends up with this card for the birthday. Yeah, that'll do nicely. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much. And again, in the same colour. This is why I loved the verses. And look what I've just found again. A little bit of glitter. So I'm using the verse, but I'm only using one tiny flourish. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, so the stamping platforms, in case I forgot... Oh, look at that. In case I forgot to tell you, are due in any day now. And we've ordered quite a few. So for anybody who's waiting for a stamping platform, I wonder if Karen could make it live for me so people can order it and, and secure theirs. Karen, are you still watching? Could you do that for me, please? Because it'll take half an hour for it to refresh on the website. So if you're waiting for a stamping platform, get them ordered after the live's finished. Um, we've ordered quite a few, but then they seem to not have stock a lot of the time. It won't be the Hampton Art one that I'm using. It will be the Crafts Press to Impress, whatever they call it, that one. That one, but it's just as good. Otherwise, I wouldn't stock it. Right, so the verse I'm going to leave to dry. We're going to move on to the card now. So I know that the verse is going on the back there. So we're going to start from the inside and work our way through. And this is where you see this card start to come together. You must post them on the website if you get one. Phil, I need to get a selfie with you on Saturday. Do you... Phil, oh, let me just have a look. Phil, 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 Phil. Do you know what, Emma? If your family laugh at you for labelling, tell them I'm on your side. I love my labels. Phil, I need to get a selfie with you on Saturday. Do you do them? Of course I do. I'm. You know I'm not shy. I'll make sure I've done my hair and had a shave, don't worry. 
I did that for Janet when she came for the class. I made sure I'd had a shave. <laughs> I did tell her as well. So let's start putting this together. So the back panel, yeah, the inside panel, and I'm going to choose my two favourite ones for the inside. This is all going on with glue. There's no foam tape at all. And that's only because I need to be able to fold it once we've done. Dorothy, that, Dorothy, that's definitely what I need. What's that, Dorothy? A selfie with me. Oh, look how pretty this is. This is going to make a fabulous Christmas card as well, I think. I love it already. Now we've got these two panels now. It's a really simple card, but it's very effective. And who who knew that Phil Martin could make a card that you can post? <laughs> it's, it's unheard of. But this just proves I can do it. So this one is going to be on the front. Let's make sure it's lined up properly, Phil. And the other two for the inside. All right, we'll be done for about half eight. That's really good because it does me a favour. I can get me dinner early. And I promise you, I will do the video for this as soon as possible. It might be quicker to tell Saz how I did it, so one of the girls from the design team can do it. So, next two. That's still a little bit damp, that ink. It just shows you how good they are. And I'm just, I'm not going to fold that up just yet. I'm going to pop the verse on. So that I can show you this in all its splendour. Aren't these colours just really classy and elegant? Oops. Where on the website will the platform be? It will be, no foam, where, yeah, there will be flowers, David, but there's no foam tape. Helen, it will be under tools, stamping tools, but if, if it was out of stock and Karen's just put it back in, it will take about half an hour to refresh. It takes, it's eight, it takes ages for our website to update. I think it's because of the volume of people that are usually on it. So this is for the back panel though. This is a really lovely card. I'm trying not to... Try not to touch it with my fingers because I've got brown ink on my fingers now. There we go. Right, are you ready for how this looks? Yeah. Tools. Oh, Karen did hear me. Thank you, Mel. So this is how this card looks when it's opened out. So we're going to fold that one in. So pattern, pattern. And then we're going to fold that one in. And then we've got three patterns. And that is as thick as this card is going to get. I am going to pop some flowers on it now. It is a great use of the verse stamps. So look, so that's the front. So it opens like a two opener. Yeah. And then you can go the other direction as well. Which I just think is really rather lovely. So let's get the flowers put together. So remember I said to you at the very beginning of the video, you can do that with one piece of A4. So, uh, A3, I mean, it's too big for A4. 
So you can do this with, with A3 chopped in half. What you'll find really difficult is that this middle section, so this middle section is actually a card blank that I've, that I've created. Uh, so it's really difficult to do that from an A3. It's easier to do it that way. Right, Phil, stop yakking. We've got work to do. So all I've got for this is a couple of flowers and a couple of banners. So these banners are from the new set, which is somewhere on my desk. If I can find it, I will show you. There they are. Now, I know most of you have already ordered this. So these banners, if I can catch them, are from the new set, not the old set. So if I flip this over, the one that I've used for this, this is why I wanted three layers for each die. So these two, these two die cuts are actually the inner parts of this one. And I love that we've got choices. Love it, love it, love it. So I don't want the big one, I want the small one. And we want two sentiments on here. So I am going to do this with my block. And we are going to use the rustic typewriter. We are using rustic typewriter this tonight. Uh, uh, too many choices, Phil. It's too many choices. And I think I'm going to, I think I've made my mind up. We're going to have because we've got on the back, because the verse, because the verse says special day and birthday already, for the front, we're going to have a note to say, love you lots, and let me just make sure if they both fit. A note to say, love you lots. <laughs> Is it 42 centimetres long? That's a very personal question, Saz. <laughs> but I'd be lying if I said yes. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Mum, if you're watching. <coughs> I'm joking. Let me just get a drink. That's judgment. For anybody who doesn't know what I'm laughing at, yeah, I'm talking to Saz on YouTube. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, so a note to say which just fits on. Oops, I've got ink everywhere. That's judgment as well. So a note to say. Let me just stand up for this. Note to say, and hopefully that's straight. If it's not, you can blame Saz. Oh, it is straight. I've squashed it a little bit, but that will be fine. So a note to say is facing that direction. And love you lots, I want in the opposite direction. This is why I love these banner dies. You can have them in either orientation. I've no to say review lots and I really like that. I know to say love you lots. And then we've got the actual birthday reference on the verse at the back. So I've got to do this from this side. And it's shining on my Acrylic block. I know it's oops, I might have squashed that. 
I know to say love you lots. Love that. <laughs> It does look nice, John. I think this is why I like doing the lives, because I hope I try and show you things that you maybe wouldn't do yourself. Um, and it's nice to see somebody else do it and then think, yeah, I like that, or no, I don't. And then you know yourself. I've whizzed through this. You'll be glad that I did the card ahead of time, because if I was trying to explain that to you, during the live, we would have all been a bit demented. It's not complicated, it's just time consuming. And all these sections that have been cut out have been cut out by hand. So make sure you've got a good craft knife. Right, so leave the sentiments just there for a second to dry. So we've got one that way, one that way. Uh, I'll save them for Ron, so they don't get wasted. And then the flowers. So I'm not shaping the flowers, which is most unlike me. And you'll be surprised at the colour choice. So remember at the very beginning of the demo, I was looking for my um, caramel shimmer pearls. And again, I honestly don't know how many shimmer pearls we've got left. Uh, but I've gone for what I know matches. And the caramel with the copper is really, really lush. So I need two flowers together for the front. So I'm going to do that first. The flowers are going to be flat. I'm not shaping them at all. I might just poke them up a little bit. And then we're going to have the caramel shimmer pearl in the middle. And then I'm going to bring this in and show you. Because caramel and copper is a gorgeous combination. Shall we have a big one on that? Yeah, let's have a big one. Let me just see if it's too big. No, I think that will work just nicely. Thank you very much. And the caramel, the caramel shimmer perms, perms, pearls, have got a little hint of gold. They've got a little bit of aurora in them. Let me show you this. How gorgeous is this combination? I love these pearls. Oops. Let me show them you in the in my hand because sometimes it's easier to see. Um, I'm tormenting you with these because if we haven't got any, I know you'll be telling me off, but look at these gorgeous pearls. Caramel shimmer. If you haven't got them, add them to your stash. And all the other flowers are staying single. Sing single? Single. Because we're not putting loads on. If we put too many on, it will bulk up the card too much. And we want it to remain relatively flat so just a five mil pearl in the rest oops the pearls the pearls themselves will add enough enough bulk when it gets closed so you've got to be strategic where you put them And on the description for the video tonight, I did say it's all about the background stamps. So all these gorgeous stamps that we've got lying around. And remember, you can do this with the big backgrounds as well. It doesn't have to be A6 background stamps. They're just so pretty. So let's just pop them there for a second to dry. I'm going to shape the butterflies. I've got two butterflies. I'm going to shape the butterflies, or I will when I find my bone folder. <laughs> I hope nobody's moderating the YouTube chat. <laughs> Unless care it is, she's usually the mod. So I'm just just a little bit on the butterflies, look. And then we'll put the sentiments together. We are getting there, slowly but surely. <coughs> I 
Uh, Ali's done it absolutely is. <laughs> oh, what am I looking at? Yeah, that's right, Gene. The shimmer pearls have got all three sizes in them. So you've got the three mil, the five mil, and the eight mil. So let's just get these put together. This is why I love these dies. Even with, even without the charmed scalloped edge, aren't they just gorgeous? With that lovely copper shimmer. Let me just squash that down a bit. I'm trying to make sure I don't rub the ink because I know it's not 100% dry yet. This is why I don't like my Gemini plates. Look at that. How frustrating is that? But you won't see it once this is covered it up. Trying to put these on without touching it is near on impossible. Oh, rustic typewriter sentiments. So we've got the sentiments, we've got the leaves. I'm going to, I might just leave that. No, I need to separate those. So I'm just going to separate these two. I'm not shaping the leaves either. The leaves, if you could, in case you're wondering, are from this year's Floral Finery. And I can tell you all that Floral Finery 2 will not be long. And I can also tell you that the stamps for Floral Finery 1 are in production. So they will not be long. Design team, you will get yours tomorrow or Thursday. And they are lovely. Right, here we go. So we're going to start decorating this card from the front. And again, I'm not putting any foam tape on this. I'm leaving it all flat. So the, the sentiment here, look. Just remember not to put glue where you don't want it. So I'm just going to measure how far in I need to go. I want it on an angle. A little bit further. Let me just shape that up a bit. I'm trying not to go off the edge of the page at the side. Do I want it that way or that way? Yeah, that'll do. So about there. So just with glue again, and about there. So I've taken it just to the edge of the card itself. Oops, is that straight? Oh, it looks so lovely. Can you see that? Oh, you can't. I definitely need to do you a video for this. So I'm leaving the flower till last. So we've got We've got a note to say on the front, yeah, and then hopefully this fits on the inside, and it does. A note to say, love you lots, a note to say, love you lots, it needs to be in the same place. Let me just, do, do, do. let's put the glue on first. So it needs to be in the same place as the front one. And hopefully I can do this. <laughs> hopefully you can do a better job than me. <laughs> That's it, just a little bit higher than that. There we go. So a note to say, love you lots. Just remember your points in the corner. A little bit higher, Phil. Perfect. So I know to say, love you lots. I've got nothing for the other sides. You could obviously go to town on that. So that's the, oh, oh, I can't give that to anybody now. I can just. Clean your mat, Phil. 
I'm having a lovely time. I don't know about you lot, but I'm having a lovely time. <laughs> Good tip, Sarah. What was that? Put a piece of copy paper on your plate and then your card. Ah, I can't be bothered with that, but it is a good tip. Thank you, Rob. Are you in the Facebook group, Rob? I see you on YouTube, but I don't see you in the Facebook group. Right, so here we go. So we're going to start from the front now. Um, I need to put this on with glue gel, though. It's not too much, not so much for raising it. But just to give me a chance to tuck the leaves underneath. So, a note to say, yeah, it needs to be straight. What a shame. A note to say, and I know I've come off the envelope, uh, off the envelope. I know I've come off the edge, but you knew that I was going to do that. And then the leaves... Can be tucked underneath. So the leaves can get tucked underneath. I'm just trying not to cover the sentiment up because that would be a pointless exercise if I did. God, it's only quarter past eight. That's bloody marvellous. Have I whizzed through this or have I just made it easier by having it already prepped? So a couple of leaves. Just faffing, bear with me. It's actually been nice to do a little card for a change. Okay, so a couple of tips for you now. I'm going to have a butterfly here. So the butterfly, I'm going to put it on with white glue, actually. Just because it will stay in position longer. So I'm going to, oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on. One butterfly here, bear with me. I've got to try and remember what I planned in my head. Remembering that this is going to get popped in an envelope at some point. So one butterfly there, the other butterfly is going on the back. This is a couple of flowers, so middle panel. Middle panel is a couple of flowers. And I'm keeping the flowers uh, flat, which I know you're not used to. I haven't decorated the back panels, but you obviously, you obviously could do that. And then I just want one more. I'm trying to remember where I had it. I'm sure I had one down here. Let's have it there. I know I've done three sets of flowers. Butterflies for the back panel. There are no flowers going on this earth on that one. You obviously could. You could do as many as you could do as many as you like. And there is a if you want to be really technical, you could make this into a into a box version. But I won't blow your mind with that. I've just done them in little sets of two, look. And then I'm going to close that up. And the butter, the last butterfly is going on this corner. That was the glue pot creaking and not me. So a little butterfly on this corner. Oops. This is why I like my glue gel. 
make sure it doesn't get caught by the card. That's it. And then you know what's coming next. It would look amazing in other colours. No, no diamond dazzle or diamond dust. None whatsoever. I could, I could, and I'll just give you a little tip. You remember at the beginning of the video when I, oh, I can't even see it now. Oh, here, look. So like the edge where I've made it fluffy by folding it backwards and forwards. Um, I've not done this for month, years. I can't even remember the last time. But when you get fluffy edges like this, Karen was saying you could rub some glue on your on your finger and rub it up the edge. But then once you've done that, you could literally diamond dust it or diamond dazzle it. So let's just get this finished. So you know what's coming next. A couple of random pearls. Oops, not that many, Phil. Let's just get a couple. Uh, I'll have two on the front. Uh, one up there, one down there. So one, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. We are nearly done, which I think is remarkable. So two, I'm gonna have to have three on the front, sorry. Three. Do I want a random one on the inside? No, I don't. Do I want it in the corner? No, I don't. Do I want it on here? Yes, I do. So two on there. You've got to remember that the pearls will bulk up your card. But because I've got pearls in the flowers, it won't really make much difference at that stage. And I think I'm going to stop at that. I think that's enough. <coughs> Choking you all. Uh, where's the lid for the glue? Who's got the lid for my glue? Here it is. And there we go. So I will do a... I can't believe it's only 25 past eight. So let me get a drink and I'll do a recap for you of everything that I've used. Just to bore you. But that's actually quite good that I'm done early. It would make a lovely Christmas card. Now remember, I've been quite tight with the decoration for this. Uh, the pearls are not set yet, obviously, but when this is set, it actually still will fit in an envelope look. So if you're just points to remember, because you know me well enough to know that I would... Ugh, you know me well enough to know that I would decorate these two panels. So these two panels would have some more flowers on and I would quite possibly pop another couple of little sayings on them as well. So let's just show you this from front to back. Oops. A note to say. It does say a note to say. There you go. So a note to say. So that is the little panel at the front. And if I just tell you how big that is, it'll give you some indication. So that front panel is 11, I think. 11 by six and a half. So we've got a note to say. Then we open it and we've got a couple of little flowers and love you lots with a couple of little flowers. We can then open it again and you could obviously have another sentiment on there if you wanted to or a little saying or a phrase. Yeah. And then a couple of flowers and then the back panel, I've left it blank on purpose. So it's literally just the texture. So as that stands, if you stand that on your counter like this, uh, oh, it's really difficult for me to show you this because you can't, you can't see it. But if you stand that on your counter like this, what you end up seeing 
is the lovely front panel and then you can see all the all the textures behind it so you can see that lovely front panel i can see the vine there i can see the vine there and it's finished with the linen at the back but then when you open the car down and you look at the back you've got the verse so it's a, it's just the same thing in reverse and then the other panels and then the front again it's it's just really really pretty and easy to do and i'm going to pull that across because it's going to set covering the a up and there you go so i'll do a quick little recap i'll leave that there just so you can see what i'm yakking on about so tonight matthew i have used only a couple of stamps uh, and one of them i've put away and i can't find which is really clever <laughs> I've only just used it and I can't find it. <laughs> Where would you be if you were the binary stamp? Oh, it's here. So tonight, Matthew, this is all we have used for this really rather fabulous card. So I've used the linen, the linen tech the doodle linen texture stamp which is the one in the background i have used the elegant vinery which is one of my rubber stamps which is this one now i know i also i already know that the elegant vinery is an older one so there won't be a lot of them i've used trudy's fancy floral background for the little front panel and look how the three textures work really well together aren't they gorgeous so they are the three background stamps i've used the just saying special day verse for the verse at the back i have used the the brand new these have not even been on tv yet that's even if i bother to put them on the charmed flags and banner dies which is what has given me the lovely banners and I have used the, not that one. I have used the Rustic Typewriter Essential Sentiments, which is the sentiments you see on there. And last but not least, I've used the Acorn Versifying Claire and the Caramel Shimmer Pearls. And that is what we've ended up with. A really, really pretty, oops, I'm, <laughs> this poor flower. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Stay where you put. And that is what we've ended up with. So a couple of background stamps, a couple of sentiment stamps, and a really lovely format, which I really love. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that. We're going to do a giveaway. What shall we do? What shall we do? Karen, are you still watching? I'm just checking that Kerr is still watching because I need her to just check. I need her to just check. You keep adding things to your wish list, Rob. I've seen that on the YouTube. When you close the card in the envelope, do the flowers on the inside get squashed? It won't matter, Trish, because the flowers on the inside, look, are flat. So I haven't poked them up, so it really won't matter. Just make sure Kim is still watching. Uh, we'll just get back to Facebook. Background stamp, background stamp, background stamp. Yeah, it will be a background stamp. I'm just checking which one I can, which one I can do. I know what we'll do. We'll do, we'll do one of each. Now, before I choose the winners, we're going to do one of each. So somebody on, somebody on Facebook will win the one that I've used tonight, which is the fancy floral. And somebody on YouTube will be able to win the de delicate floral. Uh, now, before I do this, if we haven't got any, I don't know if the Karen's still watching. If we haven't got any of these, it'll be substituted for the elegant vinery. Uh, because.
because I'm not sure what stock we've got. I really should check before we do our lives. So let's pop over to YouTube first. Uh, oh, yeah, she's put look, one, or, one of the two floral stamps. That's brilliant. Uh, so here we go. So just before I do that, let me do my socials just to remind everybody while I get a drink. Do, do, do. So for anybody who is watching on YouTube who hasn't yet, please do like and follow my Sentimentally Yours Facebook page, Civil Play. And also my Honeypot Crafts Facebook page, which is our shop. And also my Phil Crafty Martin page, which is my page. You can also find me on Instagram, Phil M. Martin. And on TikTok, and I think I'll do a quick TikTok with this card in the morning, which is Phil M. Martin. And also on Twitter or X, whatever they call it now, which is Phil M. Martin, which I know surprised you. And for those of you that are watching on Facebook who haven't yet, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. So just search on YouTube for Crafting with Phil Martin and hit that subscribe button and you will get all the notifications and everything every time I go live. And the very last two things is our Facebook group which you do have to request to join. It's a private Facebook group. Is just search on Facebook for Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours and then ask to join the group. And last but not least is the blog. So Saz and the design team have taken over the blog for us. So you're getting loads of gorgeous content on the blog now with uh, step by step. Yeah, I think I've called it worse than that, Rob. Um, so you're getting loads of step by step tutorials, picture tutorials and loads of inspiration on the blog now from Saz and the design team girls um, where they've they've written their own step by step instructions. So do make sure you've subscribed to the blog. It's there you go. Phil Martin dot .com. Right. So let's choose the winner. So over to YouTube. I'm going all the way to the top of the comments. You know the drill already. If your name is chosen, you need to send me a private message on Facebook with your name and address and a reminder that you have won the delicate floral stamp. So here, here we go. I've just seen Alison's comment. She's put, blimey, Phil, you're a worse faffer than I am. <laughs> That's hilarious. So here we go. I'm scrolling through and wherever the mouse stops, you are the winner. And my mouse has stopped on Steve Rene. I hope you're still watching, Steve, because you've just won a stamp. So, Steve Rene, Rene, I hope I've said that right. Forgive me if not. So, you, congratulations, you've won one of the delicate floral background stamps. So, send me your name and address on and a reminder of what you've won as a private message on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page. So, thank you, everybody on YouTube. We will be back as normal next Monday. Same time. No, yep, same time, different day, and um, <laughs> and different demo, and over over to Facebook. So Facebook, somebody's going to win one of these. Here we go, and we've got loads of comments to try and get through. Let me just get to the top. I don't want to miss anybody out. Here we go. So scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Come on, Phil. Scroll, scroll, scroll. And my mouse has stopped on Janet Tarbert. So Janet Tarbert, congratulations. You've won yourself the fancy floral background stamp. So the same as ever. Just send me a private message on Facebook on the Sentimentally Yours page with your name and address and a reminder that you've won the fancy floral background stamp. So thank you very much, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed that. Something a little bit different. I promise I will get to do a video for you. It will likely be next week where I talk to you about the measurements and everything. 
So, that's no good looking at that, is it? Let's put it like that. How about that? So, uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, everybody. Thank you very much. I will see you on Thursday night in our Facebook group at 7pm for our one-hour special. And you don't want to miss this one on Thursday, everybody, so prepare yourself. So enjoy the rest of your evening and I will see you in the group on Thursday. Thanks, everybody. Bye.